Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, please consider liking and subscribing. Today I'm going to be taking my one IKEA greenhouse cabinet and my one IKEA cabinet that has plants in it and turning it into a greenhouse cabinet. Let's do it. If you guys have seen a video from, I think, a year ago now, this is my beautiful IKEA greenhouse cabinet that I love very much that has some plants that need help. We will get to that. I know I've talked about that, but we will get to that. So I love this greenhouse cabinet so much. I made it last year. I moved it to my new apartment and I still absolutely love it. So naturally when I came across this one at Ikea for on sale, I had to get it. So I have this one and I'm going to talk you through the process of how I making it into a greenhouse cabinet. I don't know why I chose to sit here because this is if I sit comfortably on the floor literally sitting on a dog bed. This was a silly, a silly idea. Okay, hold on. That's better, okay. <laughs> if you guys saw my last Ikea greenhouse video, I basically, the thing that you have to do to make it from a cabinet, a glass cabinet into a greenhouse cabinet is add lights if you don't have enough light in the room that you're in. And because this is probably six feet away from a south facing window, I would like it to have more light than it currently does. So I'm going to be adding some grow lights to it. So I actually ordered the same grow lights that I did from this one. If you can see the grow lights here, there's a cord here, light cord, light cord, and it sort of makes like a zigzaggy all the way down the shelves. So I ordered those same lights. And I think now that I'm thinking about it, the distance between here and here does not equal here and here because this one is much thinner. Um, oh, I should show you guys this cabinet. Let me show you this cabinet one sec. So this is the new beauty. I really love the color of it. It's this like nice mint color. Here's my pink princess right there. But it's this nice mint color here and it's a different cabinet. This is the Mills bow and this is the something else. I'll put it, I'll put it on the screen. But it's kind of this cool designy looking spaceship looking thing and I have plants on top of it and plants inside it right now that this is my albo in case you guys are wondering. It is losing its main first leaf but it has this one, a little sign that says you grow girl. And then it has this beautiful new leaf. So those, that one's doing, it's doing fine. But anyway, I have these plants in here because I think that they get enough adjacent light from the main greenhouse cabinet that I want to, that I, I put them there and figured they would be fine. But I obviously want to give them more light. So we're going to do that now. So the main thing that you really need to do uh, when you're turning one of these into a greenhouse cabinet is make it so that you can plug things in like the lights some people put like fans and humidifiers and stuff i just have lights in mine but the most important thing to do is to add a hole in the bottom so if you can see there's my little hole uh this one and then the one from my other greenhouse cabinet and as you can see on this one the cord sticks out there and then goes and is plugged in and you can see the rusty remnants of my first attempt at making this hole in it um <laughs> but basically when I put together this first cabinet, this is the dog bed. When I first, when I put together this first cabinet, I didn't realize that I had to do that um, until the cabinet was already put together. And so that caused some problems because then I had to load the entire cabinet into a car and uh, long story long, I couldn't get the hole to drill. So my dad who works for a company that has welders and machine, machine people, I brought it to my dad's office and they drilled this hole in it for me but I had to bring the entire cabinet all put together because I forgot to do that. But luckily with this one, if you open it up here, this bottom floor pops out. So all I had to do was hand this shelf off and ask my father very politely if he would have his guys do the same thing. And they did, and they put this nice little rim around the side so I don't cut myself. But that was very nice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop these shelves out, stick the lights to them, and wire up the whole thing. And it should be good. Woohoo! Oh, and if you're wondering what I have in here, I have the aloe that I showed you. I have my philodendron Florida ghost. Very ghosty. And then I have my philodendron gloriosum that currently has one leaf but is putting out another new one. So this one I think needs to be repotted too, but that's that's what those are. And then here I have a Mandula pothos that is thirsty, but that's what that is. So I'm just gonna pop these out. Mm. 
one. Uh, I should put that on a carpet. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. And two. So now I'm going to rig the lights onto these and stick them to here. You know, I guess I could have just put these on the bottom shelf. So that's what I'm gonna do so that they're out of the way and no cats eat them. This has also been a great thing for cat stuff because there are now two cats that live in this apartment with all these plants. And as long as the stuff is in cabinets, the cats can't get to them other than this pink princess. But if you guys wanna know about um, how I'm protecting my plants from the, the felines, let me know and I can make a video about it. Okay, so these are the grow lights. I got two different sets because I have, I always cut the wrong direction because I have bookcases that I wanna put lights onto that I was gonna do tonight. And maybe if I feel like a productive person, I'll do that. But I don't know, that feels like a lot of effort. I'm planning on cutting the bookcases up in order to put the lights in. So I don't know how crafty I'm feeling tonight, but we will see. So these are the grow lights. They will be linked down below. I love them for my other greenhouse cabinet. And so I figured I would get them again. They come in a box like this. And Barra, 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 no, Barina? Is this an R or an N? Barra, I don't know, there's a cat. They're linked below. I don't know if it's Barina, Barina, Barira, Barira, but they come in this little box that I will slice open. And I miss doing unboxings. I feel like that was a thing that I really had a lot of fun doing before. Before I left the YouTubes for so long. Uh, but they go, they come like this. That was a horrible sound. They come like this with all sorts of zip ties and stuff, but these are the actual lights. And if I had been smart, I would have measured before this moment on camera to see if they're gonna fit on those shelves. But I didn't, so let's do it right now. Here's a shelf. Do we think it's gonna fit? Okay. It's like exactly the perfect length if I do it diagonally. So I'm gonna do it diagonally. That is, okay. Um, I sort of thought that I was gonna have to do that. Yeah, because this is not, it's too long, but that is totally fine. I will just do it diagonally. And yeah, these are the things. I sort of opted to go for, there's a dog toy in the back and knitting. And this is my existence is animal toys and um, knitting projects. What was I saying? I opted to go for higher quality, more expensive ones because there were some cheaper ones uh, that I could have gotten, but I wanted to get ones that I know work and these work. So that's what I went with. And if I recall, there is, yeah, we have these sticky things. I forget what I did with the last ones. Oh, so with the last ones, people were like warning me, not warning me, people in videos prior were saying that these stickies don't stick hard enough. They don't stick, which is stupid because that's their one job is to stick. Yeah, people said that they like needed to reinforce it. And so for the longest time I had strings holding up my lights and the strings never did anything because they didn't need to be holding it because these stickies did just fine. So I'm just going to, I'm going to do this. And let me see, these come in a pack of one, two, three, they come in a pack of eight. One, two, three, four. I have 24 of these stickies. 24 divided by eight. Three, okay, so I can put, wow, that was sad. I swear I graduated college. Um, I will put three of these stickies on each of these because that is what math told me I can do. And I'm only using two of these for this cabinet. So that's a good thing too with these is that they come with, or they're supposed to come with multiple plugs. 
like these things. Yeah, so this comes with four different plugs. So I'm only gonna be using two of the light strips for this one, but if it came with only one plug, I would have six leftover light strips to do nothing with, uh, but I can technically make like four whole different sets of lights if I want to. And so I'll use this one for this one, and then I have two others for the other one. I'm gonna have too many plugs, so if anyone wants some plugs, let me know. Actually, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to put lights on a lot of different stuff because like I've said, the light in this apartment is not perfect. And so I would like to give some supplementary light in different situations, like putting it under shelves in various places would be, I think give me some peace of mind that I'm not neglecting my planties, but there is a whining puppy in the background. When is there not a whining puppy in the background? Okay, um, do I need to think about this? Nope. So there are plugs on either side. And I will do this one. I should probably clean it off before I do it. But I don't want to, so I'm not going to. Puppy girl. Also, she has a name. This is one of our foster puppies. She has a name, but uh, we don't think that it sounds like her name. So we just kind of call her lady or puppy girl. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, oh my God, is this not gonna fit? Shoot. Cause the plug has to stick at the end. Oh no. Yep. Uh, this could go really, really wrong because I didn't measure it. We'll see. So as of now, these are gonna stick out the sides too far, but we'll see if I can stick it in there anyway. This is stressful. I don't think it's gonna work. Was a horrible sound. Well, it's in, and now the question becomes, can I MacGyver this so that it can, oh, that's gonna not work. <sighs> this is so annoying. Cause it fits. Would that work? <laughs> so it's resting. That looks bad though. Like that looks like it's broken. You can't see this, but this one is like fully curved like that. So to let you in on the issue that I'm currently facing, this is just exactly too small to fit both of the grow lights plus the cords that stick out the end of them. And so I'm trying to figure out how I can have it that the cord sends back out and down the back hole, which is in the back right corner, and then also goes up this way. And if I can give them some extra space on either side, I think for this bottom one, I can't give it extra space, but for the top one, it only is gonna have one plug. So I can I can adjust that accordingly. I just have to make sure that this one fits and works. <laughs> okay, we're back with more dogs. Kevin still doesn't like it when I talk to the camera. But okay, the way that math is working in my head is that we need one of these with the plug because the plug doesn't have a thing that you can plug a plug into, if that makes sense. You have to plug the plug. Girl, stop it, Jane. <laughs> You have to plug the plug into one of these, which might ruin everything. Puppy, come here. Come here, puppy girl. You look okay? Good job. This is even longer than the other one. Ah. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna try my best and see if it works. sorts of stuff. But I don't know what that's for. 
Kevin, can you help me find what I need? Like, I don't know what this packet of stuff is, but it does something. Would you stop biting my chin? Here, bite this. Here you go. Um, instructions. I'm gonna move this piece of glass away from the playing puppies. I think I might have to do like an extra light hanging out of the back of it. I'm just gonna have to do this and twist it and press it this way and then have a spare set of lights sticking out the back of it uh, because it won't fit otherwise. So let's try to do that. Okay, so naturally my phone died while I was doing that, uh, but here it is. it is. It is in, sort of. Uh, it's not going anywhere. I don't know how level it is, but it's there. And yeah. Yeah, so I got it in after some horrible screeching noises. I don't know how level the shelf is, but I honestly don't really care. I'm gonna put the top one in and yeah. That was really a traumatic process. <laughs> it was so difficult to do that. Um, okay, I have this other one and I'm going to use my brain and okay. So... This is the underside. And so what I figured out is that this one only needs to have one cord on it. So that means I can push it further to one corner. I hope this is making sense what I'm doing because I'm experiencing it and I hope that you guys understand what I'm going through right now. Um, okay, so let's see. If this was this way, under, it wants to be like this. Okay, and then that one goes all the way back as far as it can go, and then this has room there. Okay. Let's unsticky the stickies and get this going. I, I'm gonna be honest, I was gonna include this in another video with me doing my other shelves, and now it's turned into such a such a process on its own that it's gonna get its own whole new video. I already forgot which way it's supposed to go, but I'm okay that way. I feel like this took a year off my life. I thought this was gonna be so much simpler. I thought it was gonna be like popping it in. Everything's totally fine. Bugging. But we are not bugging. We are struggling and this needs to be, nope, it's already in there, okay. This shelf is fine. This shelf is less fine. I will find something to prop it up so that it doesn't twist like that. I'm adding another light here to be the conduit between the lights and the plug. I don't know what to do with this. It's just gonna rest there for now. And I feel like it's gonna be blinding not gonna look good. That looks like that. Let's plug it in and see if the thing freaking works. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm annoyed by this entire situation. It's plugged in. Are you ready to launch? See if it works. See if it looks horrible. No. <laughs> Why? Aha! Oh my god, I thought I crushed the wire so bad that it wouldn't work. Okay, so that's how you do that. And in case anyone wanted a master class on how to do this perfectly with no flaws, um, there you have it. I did not struggle at all. I did not want to cry throughout the entire last hour of my life. That was really, oh my god. I was gonna do it on the roof of it. Nope, okay. The top part is for low light plants. I've decided I was gonna do it on the roof of it, um, but I don't want to cry. So I'm just gonna leave it 
the way that it is. Those will get some good reflected light. Um, I can't believe I did that. I don't even know if it would fit on top, honestly. Okay. That's it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did and you want to support me in my pain, please consider liking and subscribing. I'll see you next time. Hopefully less defeated. Okay, bye.